I did a video similar to this at the beginning of the year and you all seemed to really enjoy it, so I decided to do a round two. And today I am going to be sharing with you some of my favorite small businesses that I've purchased from recently. I'm keeping this very small because I'm trying to limit my consumption this year. I've talked about that a lot and I'm just trying to not spend when not necessary. And this is all completely random. I have like a clothing item, an accessory. I have a lot of like drinkware, glassware, home stuff. If you're anything like me, then I know you probably enjoy shopping small when you can, supporting small businesses, and also just discovering new small shops to shop from. And of course, all of the shops and everything that I purchased, if it's still available, will be linked in the description box below. So let's jump in. All right, first up, we have a clothing item. Obviously, it's me. It's a video on my channel, you know? there's gonna be clothes. And I originally saw this item, I believe featured on Mickey Ratsula's Instagram. I love their music. I think they're so talented and I had to purchase one of my own. And this just has a really important meaning behind it as well. And it is this amazing crew neck sweatshirt that says protect trans kids. It is something that is more important than ever. And this was created by a non-binary Asian American artist named Meg. There are a lot of amazing designs to choose from in their shop as well, like protect trans kids. There are things that are bicycle, sexual related, asexual related, all different kinds of flags, stickers, crew necks, shirts. I love the thought of wearing this out in my red ass state and making people uncomfortable. I think that that's just honestly like my ideal day. And if you're unfamiliar with the anti-trans youth bill that is going around at the moment of when I'm filming this video, I'll definitely link some information for you down below. I think that this is an amazing cause. A percentage of all the proceeds from the sweatshirt goes towards the Trans Justice Funding Project. You get to own amazing pieces of art like this wear them around, but you also get to help support the artist in supporting causes that they love and believe in as well. So highly recommend, fits great. I decided to pick up a size extra large. I believe these are unisex sizes. So love it, oversized, super cute, very comfy, very, very, very cozy on the inside. Could not possibly love it more. Catch me wearing this like every single day, even though I live in Arizona and it's hundred degrees. I literally don't care. Next up, we have a couple of items from a black owned shop called Ode Vintage Shop. They're on Etsy and I happen to see them maybe recommended on Instagram or maybe Etsy recommended them to me. I'm not 100% sure, but I fell in love. I haven't been to the thrift store in over a year. So this was a similar experience and it made me very excited. And the first thing I picked up, by the way, very well priced, very, very well priced in my opinion. The first thing I picked up was this crossbody bag, which reminds me so much of a bag that my mom used to wear in the 90s. Like it just feels so vintage and throwback to me. What is the brand of this? This is by the brand Valerie Stevens. It's got like a lot of nice wear. Like it feels very worn in. There's a few pockets and compartments and things like that. It's a nice kind of like leaving for the day bag and you can throw in all your kind of basic things, some snacks, maybe a small water bottle, your wallet, etc. So it's like big enough to where it can fit the basics, but it's not too big. I have a purse at the moment that is like literally this big and I can fit like my hydro flask, like all, every basic aspect of my life in it. But I like this because it's a little bit more chic and it's not so obnoxiously large. So you can wear it kind of like over the shoulder like this. You can wear it more crossbody. I just love, 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 love this black and brown together. I paid $25 for this. So pretty fairly priced in my opinion. And then the second item that I got is a mug. Now, I don't know if I can ever ever shop any kind of small business, shop any kind of merch drop, like literally anything in my life without picking up either a tote bag or a mug. Like I'm just a sucker for both. And I saw this one and I was like, yeah, it has to be mine. So this is an Arizona mug. Like, come on, it's so perfect. It's almost like a, you know what we used to drink around the campfire as children? Like it's like metal kind of, but it looks like a ceramic mug. So it feels like very durable and I don't think it would break. But I really love the look of this. It feels very like a mug that either my parents or my friend's parents or something like that would have had back in the 90s. I feel like that's the vibe I'm getting from both of these. It's very nostalgic. It feels very homey and very comforting. And I am from the state of Arizona. I have a very love-hate relationship with her, but I do love this mug. It was $12. So again, I think pretty fairly priced. It's a little bit small as well, which is nice because I don't drink a lot of caffeine. Like I drink decaf coffee because for the last probably seven or eight years, I 
haven't had any caffeine because it made my anxiety like 10 times worse. So I don't really drink, like, I just drink it for the taste. So it's not like I'm having like major huge cups of coffee in the morning. So I think this will be a perfect size for me. I love it. In case you are not in your 30s yet, little things like this will actually make your week. Like it's just very exciting to drink out of your new mug. I've run it through the dishwasher plenty of times. It hasn't affected it at all whatsoever. Very durable. Highly recommend this shop. Next up for like a home decor, homeware, whatever you want to call it item. I purchased something from a small business called Letter Folk. I believe I saw someone mention this on Instagram and I actually haven't tried it out yet. So I'm going to be opening it up on camera, but I thought this was like a really cool, unique product because it's basically a welcome mat that you can make custom messages on with little tiles. Basically you have this mat, which is like a black and white tiled mat with all these little pieces here, these little white ones, you can replace them with different colored tiles. I picked black because I like the black and white look. You take these and they're very like um, rubbery silicone material, which I like. You take these little pieces, which are like a kind of cover for it, if you will. And then you just plop it over the top and then you can start a little design. And so I thought that that would be so customizable, so cute. I really like the fact that this is like a rubber mat so you can wash it off. I always get those kind of like straw or woven type of doormats and they're not washable, obviously. And then as soon as it rains or something happens, it's just kind of a mess. So I like the idea that you could like scrub this off. I don't have a design on it yet so far. I just have a dot. Maybe I'll come up with something cute, but I'm super excited. It's a really good size. The only thing I will say with small businesses, this tends to be the case, but it is pretty pricey. It's about $75 for the mat. A little bit of a higher price point, but you are supporting a small family owned business. So keep that in mind, but I really love it. Like I'm so excited to play around with it. The next item is a personal favorite. I mean, I could probably say that about all of these items, but these little glasses I have been using lately and they are so adorable. They're like a kind of bubble glass. And I found these on Etsy. The shop I believe is called Fancy LA Fashion. And I saw these when browsing one day and I was like, I want to have cute little coffee glasses, smoothie glasses, wine glasses, etc. And I believe these are like nine or 10 ounce glasses. They're perfect for a nice hefty glass of wine. They're perfect for a small beverage. Like when I have juice or smoothies or little things here and there, I always feel like when I pour them into a mason jar, it's like not, an, like it's too big of a glass for my liquid. So these have been a very nice solution. They were pretty pricey. They're about $25 each, which, you know, I feel like price is a big thing that gets discussed when it comes to small business. I understand that you're going to be paying more because these are curated items by like one to three human beings. A lot of times shops on Etsy like this one and like the vintage shop that I mentioned before, they probably curate those items from like a thrift store and it takes a lot of time and energy. So I'm willing to pay a little bit extra to support a small business. And I mean, sure, you could probably go to the thrift store and find things for a lot cheaper, but I'm not in a position where I want to do that just yet. Soon but not just yet. So I really love these. I think they're great. I think they're so adorable. And I like the fact that no matter what color item you put in here, it's gonna look cute. Like if you put a glass of water, adorable. Green smoothie, matcha, iced coffee, wine, whatever have you, like this is gonna be the cutest drink of your life. And I'm just trying to find more like fun and funky things for my kitchen. I've had the same dishes from Ikea since I was like 20. So I'm just trying to like branch out a little bit. Next up we have arguably like the most popular small business that I've seen as of recently, and that is Bagu. I have seen these absolutely everywhere and I'm obsessed. Yes, I bought two more tote bags because I have an actual tote bag problem, but I use all of them. That's the thing. Like, you know, in a pre slash post COVID world, your girl uses a lot of tote bags, farmers markets, thrifting, carrying things around. Sometimes I use them as a purse. So like, there's gonna be no shortage of need for tote bags. So these like foldable, compact little tote bags. I couldn't say no to. They had so many cute designs. They are $12, which I think is a really fair price. And it says right here on the back that it holds 50 pounds. That's crazy. So I got these two little designs here. I got the smiley face because it just felt very like 90s and fun. And then I also got the plum. Then of course, when you unfold it and you take it out of its little case, it's like the perfect 
adorable tote bag. So here is the smiley face one. Like literally how cute is this? I've never seen anything cuter. And then we have this little plum one here. How stinking cute. These are actually a lot bigger than I pictured as well, which is amazing because these are going to be so good for thrifting. I can fold them up really small and keep them in my purse. I don't have to like bring a bunch of tote bags with me to the thrift store. Seriously so obsessed. This is another Asian American owned business as well. Great price point, really cute designs, fast shipping. Like what more could you ask for? Obsessed. And last but not least, we have a very special moment here. And again, like I mentioned, the glassware thing is just happening and who wants wine? I am so obsessed with these wine glasses. Oh my God, like this is literally the most exciting day of my life. These are by a company called Estelle Colored Glass. These are the cutest wine glasses I've ever seen in my entire life. You cannot tell me you've seen cuter wine glasses because they don't exist. They simply don't exist. I can't really put these down at the moment because my hands are a little full, so I'm gonna continue to hold these, but I actually picked these up in an individual pack because typically these are sold in a set of six. Now I don't even really have six friends, let alone need six wine glasses. So I decided to buy individual wine glasses, which is an option. So I picked these four colors. I think a couple of the ones that I originally wanted were sold out. These seem like very popular and in demand. A lot of things were out of stock. I got a little coral color here, this lavender color, which is my favorite, amazing. I got this kind of like mint green and then yellow. And these are just so colorful, so fun. The idea of having friends over and being like, oh, you want a glass of wine? What color do you want? Like literally just the best day of my life. These are so cute and exciting. Drew loves them as well. They are hand wash only, so keep that in mind. But these were my spendiest item. These were the priciest by far. I believe each of these wine glasses was like $35, which it's pretty pricey. It's pretty pricey when you buy four of them. But again, like I mentioned, these are things that I'm investing in for myself. Like I wanna start buying big girl purchases, like having really nice things that I'm gonna take care of forever. I genuinely love them. Not telling you that you have to spend $35 on a wine glass, but I really love them. I highly recommend them. They're big boys too. Like big, big boys. You can put a lot of wine in there. I haven't drank wine in like probably two months. <laughs> So I don't really know how often I'm gonna be using them, but it'll be really fun for when it's safe to have company again. I'm so happy with how colorful they are. I literally wanna just have everything in my house be so colorful like this room. Let me know if you think I should do that. I think it's a great idea. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. If you have a small business of your own or if you recommend a small shop, an Etsy shop, whatever it may be, definitely leave it in the comments below. I would love to continue doing these maybe quarterly or something like that throughout the year. I don't wanna to do too much, but I also wanna support small shops whenever I can. So definitely leave your recs in the comments below. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.